Welcome everybody and a special welcome to everyone who subscribes to my channel. We're developing a new Rotovelo product, one which is a shell that bolts onto a green speed magnum. Let's talk about it. For those of you unfamiliar, this is Rotovelo. Rotovelo is a roto molded polyethylene enclosed velomobile we developed uh, about 10 years ago and we're on to our second generation of machine now and export all around the world, built here in Australia. And we're obviously very proud of this product and continue to make it to this day and have no chance of really slowing up anytime soon. But coming on to a decade since we released it, we've started looking at where we're going to take the product next and how we can reach more people. This has taken us back to some of our very early inquiries when we released Rotovelo. Uh, emails were arrived into our inbox asking one very simple question. Can I just buy a Rotovelo shell and fit it to my existing trike? And our answer was unanimously and still is unanimously no. The reason for that is while all recumbent trikes look very similar, they actually are dimensionally very different and making a one-size-fits-all shell is basically an impossible task. One that we explored in the early stages of the original Rotovelo development, uh, hoping that it might be a possibility. With this, we basically stopped filling these inquiries and basically explained to these people one by one. Our recent involvement with Greenspeed made us re-look at this and have another look at whether or not there was a trike out there which we could start the process of basically building one shell that fits one model of trike rather than try to make the one size fits all model. The green speed magnum really came into our radar at this point. It is a very adaptable trike. Uh, I often describe it as in the, I guess, the center of the Venn diagram of recumbent trikes. If you had to sell one recumbent trike to somebody that would get them started into this uh, that would take them in any direction they wanted, whether it be speed and performance or touring, or maybe they've got some accessibility issues. Uh, the Green Speed Magnum is an excellent start point. Uh, the other favouring thing for it is that it's been in production for over 10 years also, which means there are lots of them out there and lots of people we could potentially reach with this shell. Our hope is if the Magnum product is successful, we can possibly pick off another trike which is in high production with manufacturer who's keen to work with us and produce a shell for that trike and maybe even develop a whole family of shells to match trikes to get people into Velma billing in this accessible and durable and um, no fuss way. One of the favourable qualities of the Green Speed Magnum is its low bottom bracket to seat ratio. In other words, the bottom bracket's low enough that you can see over the top of your toes. This is probably one of the deal breakers for many recumbent trikes in as far as designing a Rotovelo fairing to fit them. But the Greenspeed Magnum has quite a low bottom bracket and it means that we, and also lots of seat adjustment, which means it packages pretty well. It, it's quite large, but uh, with electric assistance, that's not really uh, a topic of discussion. And indeed the focus of this Velmobile is to reach uh, riders which maybe don't fit into existing Velmobiles and really love, already love their Greenspeed Magnums. This 3D scan is how we started the process. Uh, this is a 3D scan of my friend Morgan, who is also a Greenspeed dealer, uh, sitting on a Greenspeed Magnum in, I guess, the, the neutral seat position, the position we see most people uh, riding Greenspeed Magnum in, if we could choose one. As you can see, he's got good uh, open chest and his vision forward is quite good. And we can begin to start looking at how we're going to model over this to make everything fit. We could have started out by modeling just around the green speed magnum but the real feature of this design is to make a body which fits the, the real person, a person who would ride a recumbent trike daily uh, but would like to experience Velma billing. So this is our start point. Through the magic of YouTube here is the model all done and finished. As you can imagine there's quite a few hours in getting to this point but that's design. 
A lot of the features of Rotovello have been maintained in this body. You'll notice that it has uh, complete enclosures around the wheels uh, so that the rider inside doesn't have any real chance of getting any uh, spray or any dirt inside uh, and it also makes a really for a really clean uh, luggage compartment behind and beside the seats. Uh, some design features we've incorporated, we've made the floor section big enough for the machine to be dual battery. We've achieved this by making the rear section quite broad and the floor wide enough to actually mount the batteries directly on the floor. This all means, also means there's uh, liberal cargo space, uh, more than Rotovelo and more than most Valomobiles. Uh, again, centering the idea that it's probably going to be more of a practicality based purchase if you're interested in this fairing. We've also focused on compactness, despite having lots of room in there for a larger rider. Uh, this machine's only 2.2 metres long, it's actually shorter than Rotovelo, which again is shorter than many Valomobiles out there. Not, not going to please the purists, but um, there's plenty of Valomobiles out there to please the purists. The focus of the short length is that it makes it more compact for storage. Uh, it'll fit uh, up on its end in a, I guess, a normal height ceiling garage uh, and could be easily transported in another vehicle. It also keeps what we call surface area down in the machine so that we can uh, keep the shell at a reasonable weight. We expect this shell to be similar to the existing Rotovelo shell in weight despite being for a larger rider. Another feature you might notice is the quite large opening. This is probably one of the strongest bits of feedback that we get from most Valmobiles and what actually excludes a lot of people from buying a Valmobile and that is that the opening is too small to climb into the machine. It seemed obvious that a machine focusing on the green speed Magnum needed to basically tackle this. So we've made the opening as big as possible uh, but still practical enough to, in to enclose uh, once the rider is inside the machine. We've also incorporated a footstep um, as part of the rotor moulding so that you don't have to stand on the seat as your first step into the machine and you can squat down in using the weight of your legs rather than have to put the weight on your arms to climb into the machine. We're grabbing inspiration from some of our earlier Valmobiles and some of our, our inspiration Valmobiles and going with a canvas closing top for this machine. We do a dual zip uh, top in one of our earlier machines called the Sorcerer, which was really great because you could open it when you were climbing and you could close it again when you wanted some more aerodynamics or more weather protection. Canvas tops in Valmobiles aren't new and are quite well proven, featuring in both the all-weather and also the original Burroughs wind cheetah Speedy, which I personally actually own one and can testify that it's actually quite effective. Another pro of the canvas top is if it's a warmer day or a more pleasant day or you're riding through a slower, more congested area and want to enjoy your cycling, you can simply remove the top and roll it up and put it in the back of the machine without having, having issues to stow it. Once completing the modelling, we flat patterned it and had it laser cut in core flute and created a mock-up. As you can see here, we have glued together all of the flat patterns which are to, made to scale of what the finished machine would be and we've test fitted it onto a green speed magnum to make sure all of our modeling is correct and that it actually works in the real world. Here's my co-worker Ken modeling the machine in all of his pleasant glory and you can see that he's got uh, good visual visibility over the bonnet and can see um, side to side quite well. Ken's uh, a shorter stature man as opposed to Morgan who we modeled the machine around which helps you see, I guess, the, 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 I guess, the diversity in size of riders that the, the body will cater for. Rotational moulding is a wonderful process which produces really durable and strong lightweight shells in polyethylene, which is completely and easily recyclable as opposed to composites. We're very proud of what we've done with Rotovalo and want to carry into this new model. The downside of rotor moulding is the tooling is very time consuming and expensive to make. And so here's the pitch, my friends. We are currently at the point where we validated the design and are ready to commence the project. However, the expense of the tooling means we need to validate whether or not there's actually a market for it. If you think the Rotovalo MST fairing is something for you and you'd like to order one in the future, we encourage you to go to the portal we've set up in our online store for you to place your uh, down payment on a pre-order for one. We need a sizable number of these to make this project go ahead. And if, you, if the project doesn't go ahead for any reason, the uh, deposit is, of course, completely refundable. So please jump in there and actually uh, put your deposit down if you feel you'd like one. And it is the validation that we need to make this project go ahead. If you think it's cool and you don't want to buy one but you really want to support us, you can also just buy me a coffee. Uh, the link is in the description also below. 
and you can jump in there and just uh, buy some coffees and support this channel. Uh, we do all these developments for a living, but we, I make these videos for free, so uh, buying me a coffee really sh shows that you want to see this content and encourages me to make these videos. We expect the total cost of ownership of the Rotovalo MST to be comparable to Rotovalo. In other words, if you already own a green speed Magnum, you could probably subtract that from the current Rotovalo list price. And that'll give you an idea roughly what the shell is worth. We're not obviously ready to release pricing until we've actually produced the tooling and uh, are ready to actually produce parts and send them to customers. But this should give you some idea of roughly what you'd be looking at if you wanted to purchase one of these things. As I said, links to pre-order and also buying me a coffee are in the description below. Please jump in and get involved and stay tuned for future videos if this development actually progresses. This is an exciting one. We really want to make it happen. We hope you do too. Cheers!